was watching some videos about DAWs and I came across one that mentioned Reaper and it said it doesn't have any virtual instruments and it does. It has the Rea synth, which I've already typed in here. When you when you go to look, there's okay, so you go to instruments and it has all of our our ones from native and other <laughs> other ones that I happen to have here. But it has this nice search feature, so we type in synth and i thought i saw a reason okay so there's this one and there's this synth so i'm going to open i'm going to open this one because this is one of the easier ones to work with right okay the first thing you'll notice is that it has all these knobs and doesn't look very interesting by default it's a sine wave I have used this as a bass instrument on occasion. When I was first getting started with Reaper and my key station, I used this synthesizer. So we can change the attack right now. Is, so we have volume at minus six. I, I honestly wouldn't go any louder than that. You can see on the level meters down below how it's holding. Pretty resonant instrument being a pure sine wave, but we will adjust the, uh, now we can do the tune. Okay, so this is basically like your, um, it's like a pitch shift. So 1200 cents is, of course, uh, 12 semitones, which is an octave. Cents are hun hundredths of a semitone. So, uh, here we go. I got my hands on middle C. This one. Now I have my hand on middle C. <laughs> and then if, if I come back here, actually I should be using this view. If I come back over here and we say that I want to put it back to where it is. That, that reminds me of the Haifa thing where I had it randomizing the pitch and that sort of thing. So. That is a thing that can be done. <clears throat> okay, now <laughs> we want to come in here and we will say, we want to change the attack. All right, let's bring the attack up here. That's a little bit too much if we go really extreme. Okay, but it's still cutting off fairly quickly. So I'll bring the attack to, I'm just gonna pick this number because I like it. And then let's say, now the decay, that's fine right there, but we could adjust it. Okay. I like it at, uh, was that 1000, wasn't it? Okay. Sustain. Play with that. All right. And I want to come to, let's put it back there. Okay, release. This is what we really want to play with because it's cutting it off at eight. Now we've stopped it from clicking at the beginning, although sometimes you might want it to click. And let's try here. Okay, that's a little bit too long. Let's try um, that. Now what I was able to get was like a chapel organ. Okay, it was a little bit of um, Bubble between them. Let me add a bit of the uh, so we it's a sign. We can add a square wave. Okay, sawtooth. Okay. 
These are basic sign sounds. Sign synth synthesizer but, yeah, sounds. Okay, so uh, triangle. <laughs> Then we can bring in the extra sign. Okay, extra sign tune. We could detune it by, I'm gonna say 50 cents just because. Uh, huh? Come on. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Minus 50. All right. There's my basic chapel organ sound. Uh, it's not too impressive, but. And then it does start clipping as you can not see in the level meters. Let's go back out. Um, as soon as I add more notes, it's gonna start clipping. So in that case, we're going to come back over to um, to the volume thing here, and um, we will <clears throat> we will turn the volume down to about that's a too much. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. so by default it's minus six. Let's do minus twelve. Drop it. Oh, minus 12. <laughs> Caught that. All right. And what else can we do with that here? loud you know it's it's not it's not clipping anymore so that's that's nice we might actually turn it down even even a little bit more to be let's see minus 15 So that is my chapel organ. I'm actually going to save this preset. It's been a while since I've done that. Ah, here we go. Plus, save preset. Uh, Jaron's chapel organ. Okay. <laughs> so that's saved. Pretty simple synth. You can play around with it and um, find some fun things that you can do.